Hi, in this lecture we are going to see about the bidirectional shift registers. In previous my lecture we discussed about only in unidirectional shift registers. These are serial in serial of shift registers, serial in parallel of shift registers, parallel in serial of shift registers and parallel in parallel of shift registers. This type of shift registers shift occurs only in one direction only is left direction or right direction. But in this lecture we discuss about the bidirectional shift registers. In this bidirectional shift registers are the storage device which are capable of shifting the data either right or left depending on the mode selector. If you are selecting the mode value becomes shift left means the shifting operation can be done by the left shift and selecting the mode becomes shift right means the shifting operation can be done by the right shift at the same time is capable of hold and load the process. Now we are going to see about the detailed description of the bidirectional shift register and its working function. This is the construction of the bidirectional shift registers here all the flip flops to be connected in a single clock pulse and one control signal can be used here. This control signal is directly connected to the G1, G2, G3 and G4 and control signal is given to the NOT gate. This NOT gate output is connected to the G5, G6, G7 and G8. These AND gate outputs are connected in R gate. This R gate output is connected to the DA and this R gate output is connected to the DB and this R gate output is connected to the DC and this R gate is connected to the DD. And first flip flop output becomes connected to the G2. The second flip flop output is connected to the G3 and G5. The third flip flop output is connected to the G4 and G6. And fourth flip flop output is connected to the G7. This is the construction of the bidirectional shift registers. And G1, one of the input becomes right serial input. And G8, one of the input is from shift left serial input. Now we are going to apply the control signal value becomes 1. This time what's happened? This 1 is directly feed into G1 and G2, G3 and G4. That's why G1, G2, G3 and G4 are enabled. In this condition, data to be shifted from left to right. How is shifting? Now we are going to take my input becomes 1. What is happened here? This 1 is loaded from here to DA. Now we are going to apply my first clock pulse. What is happened here? The DA input is shifted to the here and this one is loaded to the DB. After applying the second clock pulse, this DB is shifting from here to here. Then this one is loaded to DC. Then this one is loaded to DC. Then we are going to apply make third clock pulse. That time the DC input with value becomes 1 is shifting from here to here as well as the data is moving from here to here. This one is loaded to DD. After applying the fourth clock pulse, what is happened here? This DD input is goes to here. This is the shifting from left to right. Now what you observe here, here we are going to select the control signal value becomes 1, the data to be shifted from left to right. Next we are going to select the control value becomes 0. At the time the output of the NOT gate becomes 1. This 1 is directly connected to the G5, G6, G7, G8, that time G5, G6, G7, G8 are enabled. G1, G2, G3, G4 are disabled. Now what is happened here? Now my data is in a right hand side. This is one of the input of the GD. Now the data to be loaded from here to DD. 
Next we are going to apply the my first clock pulse. What is happen? This GT data is moving from here to here and this data to be loaded to DC. Then we are going to apply my second clock pulse. This data is moving from DC to QC and this data to be loaded to DB. Then we are going to apply the third clock pulse. That time what is happen here? This data is moving from here to here and this data to be loaded to the DA. After the fourth clock pulse, this DA is moving from here to here. In the shifting is called right to left shift. What you observe here, now we are going to change my control signal value becomes zero. That time the data to be shifted from right to left. At the same time the control signal value becomes one. That time the data to be shifted from left to right. This is the bi-direction shift register. Here shifting operation can be done by both the left shift as well as the right shift. Thank you.